Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Bloom and I'm here again with the amazing Drought Stopper. Uh, the last time we spoke, I showed you how the amazing Drought Stopper had the ability to make more water than what I put in. Remember, um, I added water up into this funnel area here and then we recorded how much water came out. Uh, we collected it and recorded the amount and more water than what I put in came out, which made it appear as if the amazing Drought Stopper could produce or make water, stopping worldwide droughts. Unfortunately, um, that's not the case. This thing cannot actually make water. So my invention is not gonna make me rich or famous anytime soon. However, it does appear that more water comes out than what I put in. So really the only way more water could come out than what I put in would be if there was water already inside the container, which there is. So when I started this, I already had water inside of here. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But the big question is, if there was water already inside, and there's water inside of it right now, actually, this is a cardboard box. So if there was just water sitting in a cardboard box, you would think it would all be leaking out and kind of we'd see it kind of coming out of the box. So somehow that water stays in there until I put more water in and then it all comes out. So I'm gonna to try to explain that to you right now of what's going on to make more water come out than what I put in. So I guess we should start taking apart this black box system. We're gonna deconstruct it. You're gonna take a look at the parts and hopefully you'll have an understanding of how this drought stopper works. So first of all, I'm just gonna pull this top piece out. Um, all we have here is a funnel connected to a uh, plastic piece of PVC piping. And really the only purpose this serves is I dump the water in the funnel and it leads through the piping into the box. Now it's not just gonna go into a cardboard box. There has to be something else in there. So if I pull out what else is in there, and really there's only one more piece to this. So inside the box, there is also, and I'm gonna put this over here on my deck so we can kinda see. There's also a container which holds the water. And as you can see, there's already water inside of that container. So there's a container. And then if we look inside the container, there is another piece of PVC piping. We can kind of see that there's one end of the PVC piping and we can follow the piece of piping. It kind of curves. And then the other end, I made a hole in the container and it comes out. So this is one end of the piping back through the container. It kind of loops and there's the other end right there. Now this PVC piping, which curves and comes out of the container, um, is gonna be a big piece of why this works. So as we can see right now, there's some water in the container. However, if you look closely, notice that the water level is not covering the piece of PVC piping. Some of the PVC piping is still out of the water. Okay, so that plastic piping sticks out a little bit. Okay, it's not completely covered. Now, when you came in, okay, to watch this, this is how it was set up in the box. There was some water already in there, but it's not coming out. So that's a problem, like we, it's not coming out. You'd figure just be pumping out and be going all over the place, but it's not. Something has to happen for that water to come out. So basically what I did is I dumped water in and when I dump water in this, in order to activate and make that water come out, I have to cover up that piece of plastic piping. So you're gonna notice when I dump water in this, when the water level rises and that piece of plastic gets covered, all of a sudden, all the water inside is gonna start pumping out and that will include all the water I keep putting in. It will not empty until I stop dumping the water inside. Okay, now this system, this black box system, um, works because of this piece of piping and that piece of piping is called a siphon. That is spelled S-I-P-H-O-N. Maybe you've heard that word before. And the siphon operates because one end of the siphon, this is one end, has to be lower than the other end of the siphon. So this end right here is slightly higher than that end. This is the lower end. Inside that end is the higher end. So there's a height difference. If they're the same height, it won't work. So that's one thing that has to happen. Another thing that has to happen is the siphon has to be completely underwater. So number one, it has to be underwater, which it's not right now. And one end has to be a different level than the other end. In this case, lower and a higher end. It's just slightly, but enough. If it's, even if it's a little difference, it will make the siphon work like it should. So there's water inside the container. Now I'm gonna add more. Now watch closely. 
it's still not covered. Still not covered. It's still visible, so there's nothing coming out. Now watch as I keep going. I'm gonna come try to give you both views here. I'm gonna cover it up. Here, here it goes. Covered. Boom, look at that. Now it's coming out. And I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna dump this whole container in here. It's gonna, you see it's full. And it's just gonna go. Look at how it's draining. And once it starts, even if that water drops below the siphon, it's still gonna keep going. So once it's activated, it doesn't matter anymore. So it's just gonna keep pumping. And I can add more if I want. And it's just gonna keep pumping it out. There it goes. So again, this is one end of the siphon, the lower end. And inside, that end is what's sucking the water out like a straw. And it's just gonna keep pumping it out. This clay, by the way, that's just to kind of make a little seal so there's no leaking. But that, that's really all that does. So here the siphon goes. And I can keep, and if I wanna add more in, I'm, I'm out now, I got nothing left. But it's gonna keep going. Again, this piece is called a siphon. S-I-P-H-O-N. Some people might even have these in their basement. If you have something called a sun pump in your basement, that kind of stops your basement from flooding, it kind of works with one of these. So a siphon is basically how this system operates. And it's still going, it's gonna stop once it has nothing left to suck up. So it's getting there. But I mean, this is how I made it appear that more water came out than what I put in. I had to have water in here to begin with before I started. So I really wasn't making any water, I was just making it all come out at the end at one time which kind of was sort of tricking you, but it was not meant to be a trick. It was just a system operating. And I think it's pretty much almost done. A little bit coming out. And it's basically pumped out the entire system. All right, so this is how the drought stopper worked. Again, it had this one part with the siphon inside and it siphons that tube. One end has to be higher than the other and it has to be completely underwater or submerged is a good scientific word for it to work. And then I just had this other piece, which is really not that important, just kind of put the water in to let it operate as well. So again, the amazing drought stopper can't really stop droughts. It just worked the way it did because of that siphon, right? So hopefully now you have a better understanding of how it works. Also, you can check this out in written form. The explanation is also posted on Google Classroom.